So we're getting ready for tomorrow. We're super excited. The band is already here uh, on the Bologna tour. Uh, Blue Connection from Virginia. Yes. Can't remember where. Yep. Sorry, Virginia. Blue Connection. Anyway, it's been a long day. So Mimi is making peach cobbler for tomorrow, which I told her wrong. On my peach cobbler, many years ago, I worked for uh, under a lady named Sandy, and there's this really simple recipe that I make. It's a cup of sugar, cup of milk, cup of flour, and we probably used all-purpose flour, which I did buy some self-rising flour, so I don't know how this will turn out. But anyway, so uh, we'll make one. If it doesn't look good, then we'll make another one. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But anyway, she should have, under my instruction, which I didn't tell her to do, take the milk, the sugar, and the flour and mix it together, put the peaches in the pan, and then... So Mimi is trying to make sure that all of the flour gets mixed up, which it's not going to, and that's going to be okay because it's going to bake. But like I told everybody, I don't use a timer and I don't use... So we're just going to... We're going to wing it. It's going to be delicious. That's pretty yeah. much how most of the stuff is around here. We're used to it. <laughs> just do that and do that, and then we all go, okay, it's on you now. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> you see all my pies I made for tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. Yes, brownies. We got brownies for brownies. All these are brownies. Brownies with walnuts, brownies without walnuts. I don't know if I can get this open now. And we're gonna do for dessert tomorrow, it's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna do brownies with a scoop of ice cream and caramel drizzled on it. Gotta have some. We're making sweet potatoes, which I'm not really supposed to be doing this, but Doug's outside building a fort. So we're gonna, I'm gonna make like a it, butter, brown sugar, pecans. We're gonna check the consistency with him because I've never done this before, but his sweet potatoes at Thanksgiving were delicious. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna go ahead and just put it on the top and get this ready for tomorrow night. And then we've been working on the green beans. We're having pork chops tomorrow night. Um, we've got to finish putting those in there. So yeah, so that's what we're working on. Uh, did you get Lindsay? Lindsay's learning. Oh, Lindsay! Oh, oh Lindsay, don't run away. <laughs> anyway, well, you, you got Laura, right? Okay. Well, yeah. Okay, Laura, okay, we got. How you doing today? I'm good. How you doing? Good. You I'm, ready? I'm in my pretty much permanent position here. <laughs> Are you chief dishwasher? Anyway, around? We wash the, yes. <laughs> no, we all chip in. So. Everybody chips in. There's, okay. there's a lot of dishes though throughout the day, but it's all good. Tomorrow we're going to be, this. So I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to take this out and let Doug look at it and see if he thinks. <laughs> what? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're trying to... <laughs> We're winging it. Anyway. So what is this? This is brown sugar and actually margarine. You can use butter. We're going to put this on top of our sweet potatoes. Oh, that's a sweet potato that's casserole. For the, it's a sweet potato casserole. And so um, in order to kind of get ahead of the game, we're doing prepping tonight. So we'll put all this in the refrigerator. Then tomorrow afternoon, we're going to move the tables around in a few minutes. So he said like a paste. So I don't know. This kind of... Kind of looks pasty to me, but we're going to take it outside and let him look at it and see what he thinks. So do you want to tell us who Doug is? <laughs> no, we don't. Not really? No, 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 I can't share it. Is it, you think it's timing to share that? They've asked you, they've seen him a few times. They've asked. Uh, so I have met Doug in uh, the fall of last year. And um, he lives locally, and so Doug and I have started, uh, we've started dating one another, and uh, we really get along. And so we have a lot in common. He's a godly man. Um, 
And so, yeah. So. And he can build porches, can he? And he can build porches. And so, yeah. So, we'll go we're going to keep him around because he can. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the girls like him, but all, all jokes aside. So, he is, uh, it's been a real blessing to have Doug in my life. Um, he's uh, brought a lot of joy to it, a lot of fulfillment in a lot of areas. Um, like I said, he's a godly man, and that is much appreciated. Goes to church with me when he's not working. And uh, so, yeah. And, uh, has a love to uh, love people, give to people. Um, has a personality like mine, doesn't know a stranger. I think I told you the story. We went to see my sister and stopped at a gas station and we were in there buying some water and he said, do you mind if we like go and check on the people across the road? And I said, sure. And so we go across the street and like four hours later, uh, we helped this couple who, the uh, she was having a baby, put them up in a hotel. Their car had broke down and so, and that's right up my alley. I'm the I'm the person that'll stop on the side of the road for the for the homeless person. So when he did that, that kind of got you, didn't it? He, when he did that, that kind of that that pulled on my heartstrings because that's that's right up my alley and who I am. And, um, I'm the one that's always late to all the functions because I've stopped and talked to somebody or helped somebody or got behind with things, and so so we get along really well in that area. So I'm very let's blessed. go meet him. Let's go meet him. He's disappeared. <laughs> uh, he knew we was coming, didn't he? Hey, Doug. Do you know what? Did he go inside? No. Uh, I didn't see him. We think this is the right consent. Does that look like a paste? That looks like yeah, a paste. Yeah, that me. looks like a paste. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, Mimi was talking. So, so we have to tell you, you know, first of all, for Doug to even be part of us, he had to go through all of us. <laughs> so he scored high on all the way around and let me tell you we have never seen her so happy and it gives me it gives me chills even thinking about how he treats her so as far as from what we can see from the outside in where there he goes a little rascal um what we can see from us looking in is that she is on a pedestal where she belongs and he treats her like a queen and that's what we love <laughs> These girls have been with me for a long time, so they've seen a lot. But anyway, he uh, he he keeps us on our toes. Oh God! <laughs> He's got all kinds of great ideas, and he's keeping us on our toes. So we're super excited. Every now and then, I gotta stop him. And go whoa, 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 whoa! No. He's excited about helping. <laughs> hey, we he is. before we go out there. Hey, uh, Ronnie! Oh, is Ronnie outside? He's right here. Ronnie, you should see him making pies. Ronnie, and Betty Boop. oh oh, he's serious. So when. So I'm I went on a trip and I bought some Brazilian uh, hot peppers, and uh, we're gonna let Ronnie try one in front of everybody. <laughs> All right, come on. I saw him go out there. Doug, we need to see if this is uh, correct. <laughs> see, it's correct. Run. Yeah. Is this pasty like this? Mm, needs to be a little more pasty. It needs to have more brown sugar in it. A little thicker. You can't get too much brown sugar. Uh, sweeter. Yeah, a little thicker. Okay, so we'll make it sweeter. So uh, I was talking, this is Doug, everybody. Nice to meet y'all. And uh, so we were talking about who you were, and Mimi was talking about adding uh, such joy and happiness to my life and to well, that's our the other way. That's the other way around. <laughs> so, so anyway. Oh, oh, we, we were going to tell you about the porch. Okay. So yeah, so recently Doug thought it would be a good idea, so we've added to the porch right here and some high tops, and then we decided that we'd add some more. Uh, so we have a band that comes and plays, Hollerback, uh, for my cruisings, and then hopefully in the future we'll have more bands. So we're gonna put some picnic tables out here, so we extend it a little bit. It'll give more room for the band, and um, yeah. So we're cleaning it up and making it look even better for this new year, so we're excited. He fixed all the lights. Yeah, he fixed all my lights, so they all come on. They weren't coming on, and uh, but it looks really good, doesn't it? It does, looking yeah. good. We're super excited. We've got some uh, neat little things that we're doing this year. Um, we've got a little thing that eventually, I don't know if it'll come on, I don't know if we'll do it this year, uh, but we're gonna add a little feature to the porch uh, in the future, maybe, maybe not 
this year, but soon. And then we've got some things in the campground we're adding to, so everybody will have to start coming out and seeing that. And he's gonna plug up the lights because, it, you know, they're really pretty at night. Get, yeah, see, all the lights are fixed. They weren't <laughs> fixed for a long time. So, yeah, so this will be added. We've got our picnic tables ordered. And Anyway, you wanna show them anything else you're doing? Great place to have a burger in the summertime and eat. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so now I gotta go make this more pasty. So, all right, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Oh, this is, guys, everybody knows my son-in-law, Austin. 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 Hey, listen, come He's here. camera shy. I don't have anything to do with this, guys. Austin was the reason him and Kelly were my pushy. They were my, they, they, they have a lot to do with the store. Because they were the ones that were here in the very, very beginning. They pushed me to open the store. They spent long hours. Austin's done a lot of work around here, so don't let him fool you that he's, you know, not a... That's your son-in-law. That's, that's my son-in-law. Kelly's husband. Kelly's husband. I know Kelly pretty good. Now, she's not, she's not camera shy like him. Uh-uh. He's not camera shy. He's got a... No. He's not camera shy. He's got his own little YouTube thing going on. and. Oh, uh, yeah? What's he do on YouTube? Hey, come here and tell him what you did. Come here and tell him what you did. <laughs> Is it YouTube? No, I do I'm Twitter. I retired. He is. He's. <laughs> I'm, I'm camera shy. He is not camera shy at all. He's not a camera shy so. bone in that body. I'm, so. I'm no, 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 no. Okay. So we're super excited about this new year and what's going on. I've got events uh, every Saturday uh, all the way up until October. So there'll either be someone here playing music, or I have my car shows, or I have a bike event going on. And um, so yeah, so God works in wonderful ways, so. These plates must be for tomorrow night for they the dinner? Are, they are for tomorrow night. And um, so yeah. I don't know, we might have to ask him again. That to me, I feel like, but I, his, I don't like sweet potatoes. But his sweet potatoes were delicious. So let me see if he'll come back in here and see how. Okay. We're going to get a swing tonight, so we got to call the hardware store. Okay. Um, all I wanted you to know was just to see if that was good enough. I can chop. Mimi and I can chop those up. Yeah, I can do that. So Doug builds and cooks, looks like. Huh? Washes dishes, does laundry, cooks. He does the grill. He does the grill. Whereas Betty Boo, like nobody else. And he's got a strawberry apron. He's, he's my favorite, Doug. Sure. <laughs> he's your favorite, he's Doug? He's my favorite, for sure. All day, awesome stuff, Mike. Okay. One with, one without. I, I'm, I'm going to pull another one out. I'll do this one with batons and this one without. It's fine. I'll do it. I just wanted to make sure that consistency was good enough. Yeah. And then it's just going to be like a thin coat across the top of batons on top of that. And then... So what we're doing is this is again just like margarine. You can use butter, and then it's and you can see kind of the see what that looks like. And then we're gonna tell me if this is. Is that too yeah. thick? No, no, that's gonna be good. And just spread it across there. Yep, 425 till it gets crusty, and nice, nice crispy crust on top with scones on it. And so we might need to make another one for this other one. So we're gonna put one with nuts and one without nuts. Yep. In that way in case so this is our first well it's not the first time i've done a dinner here at brooks's but it's the first time that it's i feel like going to be really big so we're serving dinner tomorrow night and the that band is playing and it's going to be from five to eight and we did not do day reservations so um it'll be interesting to see how it turns out but everybody's going to come and and have a great time so it's great so oh see would you like to uh, watch the movie? Anyway, that's pretty darn good right there. So. I, would, I wouldn't do that to like that where anybody else would see it. Really wouldn't. That's all on, yeah. That's, right. yeah. that's uh, <laughs> yeah. That's on camera. Is that any easier that way? It is actually easier that way. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> what would I do that? I said I aim to please, you know. So does that look like a knife? You think? I think so. Okay, so Mimi's over here making some more pie dough because 
tomorrow, also during the day, we'll have hunters. The Sawbriar only has two more um, two more hunts going on this year. Okay. Is that enough? I think we got enough contact. We we'll just, I mean, it'll take a little more time, but just put the halves on top of it and really decorate it up, and we'll put some small pieces on top of that one. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. to use the bigger parts and we'll scoop it up. There'll be a little bit of time with each one of them. Yeah, and I bought some more pecans too, so we'll have to. <laughs> Here comes the oh, here we go. Stuff, right? That's you a Put yours on. No, no, no. Do you I'm put this one, one on? You've used that one more than. Oh, right. Right. Well, sure. Tell me when you get it set. Tell me when you get it okay. set. Okay. This okay. should this not be with true, <laughs> This is a true test on which is better. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not ready. When we get ready, ready? Go, go. Okay, go, go. Crazy. Y'all have lost your envelope of mine. Done. Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm halfway. Woohoo! Right here. Yeah. Bean's going in. Wow. You okay, want to explain still... it? Hold on, hold on. Okay, now? Okay, let's see. see you guys are doing. beautiful. Drain Woo! the beans. Drain the beans. We did it. Huh? Look. Look at it. Faster. More efficient for your money. More efficient. Time saving. Now, just because they're always done, sometimes they're not better. <laughs> This is saying we could. This is my can opener that I like that none of them can work. This is a new one I bought from Walmart the other day. They're all talking about what was you talking about? Fall but weather. This, listen, listen, like this one's like smooth. Right this this is like a smooth. fall day because they like a fall day. This is smooth. Like fresh air. Right but let me tell you a little secret. Y'all stress me. She would stress me out so bad because if she didn't have the cans open for me for Saturday morning because I'm the one that comes in early and does breakfast, no I would panic because I could not use that thing. I literally called one of the campers one day that were staying here and said, Do you have a real can? opener yes. and then they thing. came over and helped me. It comes off like that. This little lid right here kind of fits down in the edge of it like wow. that so you can just drain That's this nice. one right here. I'm not sure how this works. I'm going to tell you how that works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you exactly how it works. It's not got an edge that'll cut you. This one will right here. See this? See that? Danger. Dangerous. Dangerous. Listen, we're product of the 70s and 80s. We didn't wear helmets. We drunk out of water hoses. I believe we can survive a new can Brooks, this is the story of Brooks Corner on a daily basis. <laughs> we haven't laughed as much since our daddy Doug showed up. Our daddy Doug. Then do we do now. So I'm telling you what, daddy Doug is a blessing. <laughs> Look at that picture. I'm going to go back here and do one more. You're talking to Anyway, we just wanted y'all to be informed about the... Can over situation here at Brooks's. There's a little um it's called Rebellion. It's called Rebellion. <laughs> oh the pic oh the picture of me in my her he, when he's talking to her, she's like mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you're so funny. Alright, so this yeah, there you go. So we're starting to get all the pecans put on here. According to uh, Doug, we're going to lay them out very pretty. Uh, on the like this, normally you might crush them, but he said if we had enough to lay them out, they're pretty. So that's what we're gonna do. It's a little more time consuming. We might just get some of that like that. Huh? You want to do it? I'm waiting on this. I can do it. Okay, I'm gonna yes, let I'm you do this. Do I'm gonna do this so I can get okay. this uh, other one done. Sounds great. So I'm gonna go back to make it. And these right here, if you want to, these are the ones his daddy broke up. So right. pecans that's every year. And there's another bag somewhere that I bought. But use this one next if we need to. Okay. That, that uh, she has seniority over my badge because she got it sooner. But I think if I engrave mine. And have your name on it? Yes. I think that'll push you probably back up on the Okay, let me explain list. something. Time out right here. Let me just, <laughs> <laughs> let me just make this right for y'all. This is it. <laughs> well, now we've done it. Just so you know. Yeah. So let me explain the story. See this badge right here? See, this is an honor. And I got one first before Bob, but Bob got deputized to stay. I didn't get to see it. I didn't get to see it at all, but that's what they're talking oh, about. The ceremony was unbelievable. <laughs> it was an unbelievable it, ceremony when I got, got uh, dubbed deputized. left to right. And yeah, then, witnesses and everything. He got dubbed and everything like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what kind of badge is that? That's Well, you explain it, Doug, but this is my badge, but I got it first. So I feel like I have seniority over Bob. That's what they were discussing. I just wanted to make sure I, I got my badge first. Yeah, but if your name's not on it, then 
the one that had seniority is the one that has their name on it. And I'm going to the Jewish store oh, right oh, now. I was going to say the ownership of that could be questioned who actually owns that. Yeah. I mean, if they have a name on it. But yes. I think I think she knows somebody might have to get a name put on that one. Here, let me take it and I'll have your name put on it. You want, are you going to put my name on it right here, yeah. too? Well, you're still going to remember I have seniority. But anyway, let him explain. Here, Doug. You can explain, Doug. So that law enforcement, military, all of them had challenge coins and stuff like that. And it's kind of a thing between the military and your brotherhood of who you work with and stuff. And our department come up with the shield that's on our rights is that we work for law enforcement. If you run into somebody else in law enforcement, just kind of trade things out. But these were a little bit more special that we were told to give them to people that were outstanding in our communities and stuff like that and to let them know that we support them as much as they support us. So Miss Tiffany here is, is a, a pillar in our community and I, Mr. Schlack, I've, since I've got to know him, I've got tremendous respect for him and I just wanted to make sure he had one too. <laughs> and you work for who, tell us? Morgan County Sheriff's Department, uh, Sheriff Wayne Potter uh, and one of our uh, reserve deputies, uh, Mike Krugel, come up with this idea it was a family member that put uh give the money to the department to have them made none of the department money was used in that it was just a donation said this would be a good idea for your department and they like what we do in this county so so everybody in our department got four or five of those to hand out into the community who they seen fit that was a pillar in our community yeah. so so you got one i did i'm blessed How'd that yes, he's blessed and i am too but still <laughs> i have to make sure they know who's boss we got a special guest here. Yeah. Hey. Sam, how you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you, John? We're doing good. We're here shooting a little bit of video today. Good to see you. Getting ready for tomorrow. Yeah. You, you camping or where are you staying at? Yeah, I'm camping. Well, how about this? You bought your uh, band you got, yeah, right? How I about sure that? Did. Thank you. You checking him in? I am. You can charge him double. He's got the money. <laughs> he, he don't care. He wants to support the community. He wants to support everything he can, so he'll pay double. Got it. So, I bought these at a Brazilian store in Miami because I met this beautiful Brazilian couple who is from the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And they, uh, they actually uh, told me about this. Anyway, so the point is, is Ronnie liked tight stuff. He's probably not going to make a face for us because he's a little tough boy. But anyway, you want to try this? A lot. A lot of peppers. I hope you get a really hot one. He's probably not even going to make a space. Is it hot? They got a lot of kick to him. They got a lot of kick to him? A little kick to him. A little kick to him. I can feel my face turning red. You can feel your face turning red? I love it. Yeah, look how calm he is. Ter Taryn wasn't that calm. Anyway, I like we'll... Uh, I like the Maggie Hot Sprite. Where you yeah. at, Bob? All right. Uh, we're going to have to get to work. I've got to talk to these customers who just walked in. I've got a lot of work to do tonight before we get to go home. And she's holding me up. I got to work at her mom's tonight. So I'm going to be late for peppers. He carries his Bible everywhere he goes. It warms my heart. He's all the time reading. He just finished the Songs of Solomon, and he... What else? Well, I finished... Uh, I finished Luke the night before last, and I'm into John chapter 10. John chapter 10. Anyway. Yep. The last of the Gospels. I'll tell you, Luke had me in tears more than once. Luke had you in tears more than once. I yes. love it. I love it. All right. Hey, peppers are awesome. Okay. God is great every day. Love All you right. guys. See you in the morning, guys. Bye. Bye. So you're gonna put some lights on there? Yeah, put lights marking the, each one of the entrances down there. So we, if we do anything at night, it would be nice to have some lights around. So. so what do you think about Tiffany's old store here? You know, it's one of those hidden treasures. You know, there's not a lot of places like this anymore. It's a good place to get away and uh, a lot of memories. I know my granddaddy and, and uh, the, they would, t they would sit around and tell stories about places like this and here's a hidden gem right here in our county and everything. So it's re really nice, honor to be part of it. So. Well, I'm heading back to La Fox. See you in the morning. See you in the morning.
sausages on there. If you don't know that. What are you drinking? You like coming over to R.M. Brooks's? Yeah. Do you? We use the bottle opener. The bottle opener? What flavor is that? Cherry limeade. Oh my goodness. Is that what you, do you like that? Is that good or do you like, what's your favorite drink? Um, I like this. You like that pretty good? Okay. Well this is probably the only place you can find them at, them cherry limeades like that, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're back at Orion Brooks today, and here is Sadie. She's been in some of the videos before. You've been in some of my videos, ain't you? Yep. Do you watch my videos? How old are you? Six. Six years old, and she watches my video. That always tickles me. So every time she comes out to, to visit with us, I try to get her on the video. So everybody leave Sadie a comment, and uh, she don't live far from here, do you? No? Just down the road, don't you? <laughs> Well, uh, did you get you something to eat this morning? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you drink? What was that you was drinking in there? Um, cherry limeade. Cherry limeade. Well, I'm going to let you go. I know you just got you just gotta go somewhere, you and your mama. I'm glad you came by to see me, okay? Can I have a hug? Oh, man. I love you, girl. Thanks for coming to see me, okay? All right, I've met another buddy here. This is Tom Spicknow. He come out to, to see me today, and I was so excited to get to meet you, Tom. Wow. He was in there eating. He come and sat there with us for a little while, and asked him if he wanted to come out and be on the video today. And we like Might to, as well. Might as well. Now, tell us again where you're from, Tom. Originally from Maryland. From Maryland. Uh-huh, up around in Annapolis area. Yeah? Been a transplant. Transplant? Where you live at now? Spring City. Spring City? Yeah. How far away is that from here? That's about uh, 50 miles. 50? Oh, that's not far then. Uh -huh. You didn't have to come too far, did you? Yeah. So you say you watch some of my videos? Oh, yes. You was talking, I think you like old Ralph Robertson's videos. Oh, Greasy Holler. I, man, I missed it. Yeah? Yeah, I love watching on you. Yeah. Well, we sure appreciate yeah. you watching. We, uh, I try to find stuff that you we don't see so much no more of, the old time stuff, you know. Like this store here, R.M. Brooks's, you know. Yeah. We're going to get ready to get back inside here and film a little bit. Sure yeah. was nice to meet you today, Tom. Yeah, sure glad I've, you came out. I've been wanting to meet you. i got a first cousin named John Ward. Oh, do you? That's why I wanted to meet you. Well, yeah, man. Well, good to, good yeah. to meet you, Tom. So. Yeah. All right, guys, I came out here uh, to uh, introduce you to Sam Smith here. He is a YouTuber also. Um, we met a few months back here, yeah. and then we stay in contact with each other. We talk on the phone or email or, or I guess we message and text. I don't know. We talk somehow. <laughs> but, uh, uh, he's here back again today. Where you, tell us where you're from, Sam. I'm from Montgomery, Alabama. Montgomery, Alabama. He's about a six or eight hour drive away, and he came up today to film with us. He's been here. Made, you made a video before on your yes, channel. Yes, I did. Your channel's called Side Hustle Sam, yep. but you're changing it to... Uh, Retire Inspired. Retire and Inspire. And uh, it's about, I guess you're going to do a lot of travel videos. I'll be places. doing some travel videos, but I'll also be doing other videos about some things that I'm just doing around the house. You know, I've started repairing vintage video game consoles and reselling them on eBay. So I think that'll make some interesting content. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, there's a lot of uh, uh, interest in those video games from the 80s and 90s. So. Yeah. I used to sell some of those back years ago when we had the video store. So, yep. Um, but yeah, you're going to. Uh, you already got your name changed on the channel, or? I, uh, as of the point that this video is coming out, the one that I'm going to be doing, it will be changed. But as of today, it hasn't been changed yet. Okay. Well, it'll be. You can probably still, uh, even though once you change the name, you can probably still uh, search on YouTube. Uh, uh, side hustle sound it'll still come up even though you've changed the name but yeah uh, retired inspired is going to be the name and uh, it's fun making YouTube videos ain't it it is a lot of fun I'm, I'm uh, pretty new to doing it more often I've been doing it kind of part-time for the last three years now and so my channel I've just kind of been building it up I still have less than a thousand subscribers I'm at 800 one as of today yeah <laughs> so uh you know my goal is to get over a thousand i really don't uh care about you know whether or not i'm you know make a lot of money on it i just want to put out some interesting content for people to watch 
Yeah, you was when you've retired now, though, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. We talked before you're still working. And retired from the state of Alabama. You got your van over here. Yeah, uh, a Sprinter that you uh, been traveling in. That's and, right. Uh, uh, so, what? How many states you been in now since with that van? Uh, let's see. I went to went through uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, uh, New Mexico, Arizona. California, Nevada. Oh my goodness. And all the way back and that's just been in the last month. In the last month. My <laughs> goodness, you've been traveling. Well, I know you're not going to stick around all day because you said you got to get back home tonight to be at church in the morning, so that's a good thing. Yep. And, yep. Uh, so we're glad you got to come out and I got to be in your video and you got to be in one of my videos. Yep. So you can watch me on on, on, on Sam's uh, yes. channel. So I'll be on there talking about, he, he interviewed me about how, how I started the channel and, and all that. So uh, I think it was a pretty good interview. It was a real good interview, so, and it, I think it'll be a, uh, one that gets a lot of views. Well, I hope so, and uh, make sure to check it out. I'll try to put his link to his channel in the description, but if I don't, because I forget sometimes, you can just put it in the comments, hey, where's the link, and I'll, I'll remember to get it in there. Yeah, and it's Retire Inspired. Retire Inspired, okay. Yes. I, I can't, I have a hard time with that one. <laughs> and I don't know how soon you're going to put this video out, but um, it'll probably be about another week before I actually rebrand the channel, so if you... Uh, a week from March the 2nd if you're still if you're watching this video it's still gonna be side hustle Sam okay well guys uh, I'm gonna get back in here and interview some more people and Sam good seeing you again today buddy it's good to know you John and uh, I appreciate you sharing all the information that you did with me about uh, YouTube and and how to make a channel grow and that sort of thing so I'm looking forward to growing my channel and seeing where it goes. And of course, we're gonna see each other down the road. Absolutely. My no. eyes are watering and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you guys for coming in. Oh, really appreciate you. John, you have a baby here? Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. All right, we got special guest here today, and he's going to be uh, presenting something to Tiffany in a minute, and he'll tell us about that. She don't know about it, but this is Ed Butler, our uh, district's uh, in this area state representative, and his wife Kim. And tell us the counties that you serve here in East Tennessee, or the Cumberland Plateau area, I guess. So I'm District 41, so I serve Overton County, all of Morgan County, part of Fentress, part of Roan, and part of Anderson County. So it's a very, very long geographic district. Well, the first time that we uh, met you, you was riding your motorcycle, and you was just running for state representative that at that right. time. And then the next video, when you come back there, you you won the uh, the district there, and got the seat. So uh, uh, the, there was a lot of interest in your motorcycle last time. Uh, tell us a little bit about that motorcycle. So we've got an ultra limited. That most people have seen us in the district somewhere, but it's painted like an American flag, and uh, we enjoy riding that through the district and also across our country. Uh, do a lot of stuff that's veteran related. Uh, last weekend we rode over to Blount County to honor the deputy that was killed over there uh, and back in February. And so we had the opportunity to participate in his memorial ride. Uh, so we just love riding motorcycles. So it's just one of those things that we enjoy doing and uh, also to show our patriotism. And uh, how long have you had that motorcycle? Uh, I've had that, this is the fourth year I've had it. So we've got almost 60,000 miles on it. We ride quite a bit, we enjoy oh, wow. riding. 60,000 miles Just about. Four, how many states did you go through on that? We have probably been, I don't know how to sit down and count, probably close to 30 states. Wow. So, Kim, do you like riding the motorcycle? Oh, I absolutely love it. Love it? So, now tell us, how you like being state represented now? I, you know, I really enjoyed it. I, I enjoy the, the legislative process, but I, I really enjoy being out in the district and um, being able to help people. You know, a lot of times, by the time somebody calls their state rep, they're, they're really at their last resort it's it's something they've, they've called everybody else nobody else has been able to help them and, and, and most of the time we're able to take care of whatever their needs are or if not at least get them in the right direction so that that part is very very rewarding being able to help folks so you got something today that you're going to do for uh rm brooks general store tell us a little bit about what you're doing so i've got a house joint, house joint resolution that that we have prepared uh to honor rm brooks store and, and tiffany's dedication to to continuing the history of this store and so it's over 100 years old, so that's what this is. It's to honor the centennial celebration of R.M. Brooks. And so a House Joint Resolution is something that's passed both the House and the Senate uh, to honor uh, R.M. Brooks. 
Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure she's going to be excited. And, uh, we're going to film that here in a few minutes. When, so, uh, yeah. so when I do one of these, my dad is a woodworker, so he always makes a frame to put those resolutions in. So I give it to him framed well, in, a, in a frame that my dad actually made for that resolution. Well, how about that? Well, that's going to be great. We'll have to, I, we'll have to get a video of it when she gets it on the wall. Absolutely. Well, I think you all wait some food for some we, food, and then after you all eat, maybe we get to film you give that to Awesome. Her. we got a fried bologna sandwich on the way, I hope. Okay. <laughs> she looks like royalty. Okay. Woo! Anyway, we got to put her little sash on, and then if everybody... Put my hair down. <laughs> Sing happy birthday to her. Yeah. Sing happy birthday to her. Oh my God, Tiffany! Yes, all day. Yes, all day. Yeah, just a second. They wait till now. Over sixty, to embarrass me. Really? Yeah, we didn't celebrate her birthday last year. I don't know why. Your food's still cooking, so nobody paying it. Home in the high hills. And uh, so, anyway. All right. So, can we all sing happy birthday to her? All right, ready? I'm gonna start it off. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mimi. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha! Thank you. And it match my earrings. You look so beautiful. You know, I don't think she knows what to do with all these men singing to her today. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. This is Lindsay, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this is our newest girl. We love her. So anyway, she's camera shy, but not for long, because Katie used to be camera shy. Now you can't keep Katie off. <laughs> she's like, here I am, here I am. The guys are always asking about sing uh, if she's single. You're 31 years old and you're single. And oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. And she can cook. That's and, right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So go on the, the RM Brooks the R. M. Brooks Facebook page and leave her a message and she'll get oh. back with you. <laughs> and that's my dad. You gotta you go through him. You need to be there. Her dad. Now, now you're gonna have Doug all kinds of messages. <laughs> Doug here. He didn't he didn't hear that. <laughs> you missed all that. You had to go through her dad. He yeah. carries a gun, so he got <laughs> you gotta be careful to act right around her, right? That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right, so we have done a house joint resolution to recognize Arm Brooks and I'm gonna read it. So this is by Representative Butler and Senator Yeager, which is obviously your senator. So a resolution to recognize the R. M. Brooks store of rugby on the palm, its designation as a Centennial Tennessee company, where it it, it is as fitting that the members of the General Assembly should recognize and commend those Tennessee businesses that have long-standing commitment to providing exceptional service to their customers and communities. And whereas the R.M. Brooks store in rugby is one such established business, which has recently recognized as Centennial Tennessee Company by the Tennessee Department of Economic and Community Development. And whereas the Centennial Tennessee Company designation recognizes companies that have been in operation for 100 years or more in the volunteer state, and whereas established in 1917, the historic R.M. Brooks store was constructed in the 1920s and remains in the founder's family to this day, with fourth generation granddaughter Tiffany Terry and her husband Gary carrying the mantle of this long lived family business. And whereas is listed on the National Registry of Historic Places, the R.M. Brooks store has been the center of social interaction and commercial exchange for the community members and visitors for over a century. And whereas the R.M. Brooks store building has been in continual use since its construction, operating six days a week and serving as a mainstay for rugby community members who value their historic character of the store. And whereas Tiffany Terry and her family are dedicated to maintaining the aurora of history and what the store has represented to the people of its community, intact for visitors who come to see a living museum of country life. And whereas the customers do a bit of time traveling as they spend time at the store where features of pot-bellied stoves, rocking chairs, the original 1880s rugby post office, rat trap cheese, bologna, barbecue sandwiches, glass bottled soda, cooled in the old-fashioned sliding soda case, popcorn, moon pies, and old-fashioned candies. And whereas, for more than a century, the R.M. Brooks store has played an integral role in the lives 
of the good people of the rugby community, and it is most appropriate that this historic business be recognized now and therefore be it resolved by the House of Representatives of the 113th General Assembly, the State of Tennessee, the Senate concurring, that we recognize R.M. Brooks' store of rugby upon its designation as a Centennial Tennessee Company, and commend owners Timothy and Gary for their dedication to preserving the unique history and character of this beloved general store. Adopted February 1st, 2024. Thank you so much. It's a big deal. Thank you. Thank you. And my, my dad built the frames. Oh, wow. For all these. So when we give them away, we give them away framed. Oh, my awesome. goodness. This is so neat. So, so who wrote that out? Who, who came up with that? Uh, my assistant and I wrote some of that together. And then when you give it to legal, they, they put the warehouses and the forehouses and polish it all up. <laughs> okay. <sound> <laughs> I would shake your hand, but I'll give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's get a picture. Let's get a picture. Guys. <laughs> now you get in the middle. Too. Yeah, yeah, good. yeah there you That's go. Really hey, Doug. Come on, Doug. Come on, Doug. Come on, Doug. Come on, Doug. Are you there? Yeah. That's right. There we go. This. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You got it. Right here? <laughs> yes, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. This is such an honor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is an honor. I'm pretty sure you are. I think we've done we done this research on it. A couple years. Just speak to him and minister to him, Father God, and let it just be a joyous time, Father God. We thank you for seeing his heart, Father. We thank you for his willingness to drive all the way up here, Father. And we know that, Father, you are you are in control, Father. Hey, uh, welcome to R.M. Brooks, and my name is Mike Rivers, and this is the band, with us tonight. <laughs> Mike Rivers' band. Not band. band. Not band. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told. But anyway, so listen, the reason these guys came down and I came down, last year I was watching the video on the Appalachian Channel, and I was like, my wife had gone to Ireland for... St. Patrick's Day, she's, she's got dual citizenship there, and I stayed home so that I don't like to travel much. He's but wanted. Anyway, what? He's wanted. Yeah. Oh, he's wanted. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's wanted by many. I know. So anyway, uh, I'm watching this great channel, and I'm falling in love with everybody, all the customers and the quirks and the building and all this stuff, and I thought it was absolutely amazing. Anyway. His channel kept me company for like a week and a half, I guess it was. So anyway, uh, when my wife got home, I said, Kathleen, you have to watch this channel. It's amazing. It shows all these people. And I said, you can go back to Ireland if you want, because I'm going to watch this. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, I'm watching it, watching it. So I said, you know what? We're going to Nashville uh, in the spring. Was it the spring? No, no, it was fall. It was September, right. It was our 49th wedding anniversary. So we were going to Nashville with our friends, Paul and Janine from the band. So I said, but first, before we get to Nashville, we have to go to rugby. I think it's, I think they call it rugby. They don't say rugby like the game, right? I don't know. So it, was just, it was just, what, two hours out of the way for a bologna sandwich. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll do anything for a bologna sandwich. But anyway, so we... So, I did, so anyway, we cut across Tennessee to come over here, and I couldn't believe we were here, actually. So it's like going to Disney World, I guess. But anyway, it was fantastic. We had a good time. We met Tiffany, we've met a couple of other folks that I'd seen on the video. And uh, so we, we left, we went to uh, Nashville. And this past, was it the spring? December. When did I see the video? December. When was it? December. December, I'm watching another one of John's videos <coughs> and he's interviewing <coughs> Tiffany. And she said, you know what, we get all types of people to come in and she says i love when people come in from different places and last year we had a, a couple come in for the 49th wedding anniversary and and he said that this your videos kept him company while his wife was in ireland and i said well there can only be 
us. <laughs> it's gotta be you. So it's gotta be me. So anyway, so I said, I'm gonna call up Tiffany and just thank her for that. And I said, I said, well, maybe we can get the bluegrass band. All these guys are my best friends. And uh, I said, maybe they'd be interested in taking a road trip. So I called them all up. They said, man, we would love to. So I called Tiffany up, and she was she she actually called it a God wink because she says I was just praying about what I could do to you know get something going for the for the uh, spring. So she says, Mike, if you want to do that, that would be great. Bring the band down. And I said, well, what day? And she said, the second of March. And we set it up, and these guys all wanted to come down. And here we are. So this is Blue Connection. These guys are my brothers. All right. So I love you. Hey, love you. Hey, Mikey. Thank you, Mikey. I love you, David. All right. All right, we're going to start it off with an original number here that our bass player wrote. Wrote that a few years ago, didn't you, Matt? Mm -hmm. I'll introduce everybody to you as we uh, move forward, and please stick around because we've got a very special guest coming up here in a little bit. You don't want to miss that. I can't help it if they don't have enough fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next little number we'll do is a little Civil War song about two little boys. Thank you. 
I don't think the girls can keep up with that. They'll be wore out. No, I don't like it. I don't like it, but I'm using it because I don't know where the other one is that I like. So. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think someone might have hit me. I don't know. Can you hear that? Yes, I like the way it's working. Is Doug getting you trained? Well, apparently so. Doug's training me. Yeah. He works a 40 hour. Regular job than 50 hours here a week. <laughs> We're good. Think we got some more ass on there. I don't think it's going to turn out too bad. Yeah. The hogs, may, the pigs may have felt different about this meal, but everybody else seems like it. Let's take along with us here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear me. Now stick around for more of the Blue Connection. Thank you 
Thanks so much. We'll be right back. Just So anybody that knows me knows that that's important to me. So that was kind of like a, a very sealed, sealed day thing the other day. I was kind of like so excited. Along with many, many other things. It's, it's nice to see you this happen. It really is. Well, thank you. He, uh, he's definitely brought. And the girls love him and my children love him. Congratulations. So it's just, it's a breath of fresh air. So I'm very blessed. But anyway, Cohen's wanting to see her. I don't know that he'll be nice. He's going to get out of that. He don't know how. You want some help, buddy? Oh! There you go. You good? He can stand up. Say hi. He puts his hands behind his back. It's so cute. What are you doing? Pulling out your pants. Say hi. He's like, there's somebody my size. God week um, because when he called me and I kind of was like being pushed a little bit to do uh, what I feel like God wants me to do and so it's just good clean fun and and I hope that people got to know other people and I like I said I really appreciate you being here okay so I'm done but thank you Mike to you and your man <laughs> appreciate that Hey, this is something that I bet just about every one of y'all know. And uh, might need a little bit of something coming from where this place is. You don't know, they don't know. I know I just jumped in there, boy. My baloney has a first name, it's O-S-C-A-R. My baloney has a second name, it's M-A-Y-E-R. I love to eat it every day. If you ask me why, I say. Cause I spin my as a way with B-O-L-O-G-N-A Maloney Tour 2024 It's my trip <laughs> Go Babies! Thank you for joining us for another episode of Orange Brooks' Store Until next time Thank you.